I'm gonna try and try and rush it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it. So much. Oh, they ain't done. It's locked, it's locked. Oh man, oh man. I didn't do something along the way. So I have achieved nothing right now. Let's see if I can't fix it somehow. I think there's another enemy up here. Why do I think that? Maybe not. Right, well, I guess we are going to church then, seeing as none of these buttons work. souls and away they go uh oh shucks i missed poe on stream stupid meeting is this new game plus starting health it is it is there we go still got the 14 vitality had a million and four ghosts after me and uh i died dropping like fifty thousand souls it was pretty harsh i'm oh, having a lot of fun like souls you gather up a lot of souls in New Game Plus. Everything seems to be worth more. But yeah, um... Path, Path of Exile was, was last night. I, I did say, like, uh, yesterday that I was doing a stream after the end of the stream of Path of Exile as soon as I'd eaten dinner. And yeah, there was, like, three hours or so of Path of Exile. Yeah, I spoke about it during the day. I'm pretty sure you were you were right there in the channel. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I, I, I thought I I said, yeah. Because uh, Serpent Tax hasn't been around at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain you were there. Nope. I was all like, definitely drawing me off the stream. It's going to be 30 minutes for me to eat my dinner, and... Off we go. And it was all of Act 1. We did all of Act 1 yesterday and it was it was great. I had one person join me partway through and no nobody else came on to say hi. And uh, it was worth it. Just me and one other person is, is all I need for it to be a, a stream. And you know, maybe YouTube will like it. But, uh, I doubt it. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, that was the thing. I was just sitting around every night, bored. No Serpent Axe. And I'm just like, well, I want a game, but I also want to record. And then off I went. Oh, 
Also, I was saying the other day during uh, Dark Souls, this is when you wasn't around, I, th I think, that um, lightning's pretty cool. Like, lightning always looks kind of awesome in games. Blue lightning, yellow lightning. And, um, yeah, I just made a really cool lightning character, Path of Exile. Path of Exile has a lot more build choice than Diablo 4 ever will. And there's billions of skills, billions of uh, potential characters that you can make, and it's super interesting. The only thing that I'll never be good at in Path of Exile is that there's a, it's a lot of maths, basically, and I'm, I'm terrible at maths, but it doesn't stop me from enjoying the game. Like, a lot of the maths is kind of pre-game when you're building your guy, and then playing it is just, it's just like Diablo. It's just a lot of, like, action fun. But my god, you, like... They could do master's degrees in Path of Exile, and you would still still not be done. It's kind of crazy. So if, if you're still there, um, I will give you some examples of some of the cool stuff that you can that you can do in Path of Exile. And it'll be, you know, be pretty general, but also very interesting. Emails are important. Go for it. Dang, ghosts. I think we'll have to keep on trying, though. I really want to... I really want to do this. <laughs> uh, your friend sent me a new story about some lady in Brazil that stole a fresh corpse and went with it to a bank to get a loan in its name. Oh, my good God. I... There's, there's no way that's real, because how would you provide any kind of movement or animation or, or anything? Like, you would have to, I don't know, you'd have to hobble along with them over your shoulder, and then every now and again, you know, 
put your arm on their face to move it and go, yes, I agree with everything just said. It's just, it's n there's no way. Yeah, exactly. Just, um, it's just, it's so goofy. There's, there's no, no chance. Seem, seems like you might need to check the uh, date to make sure it's not an April Fool's dated one. I know there was one website that I saw that they did their article March the 31st at 11.59pm. So that any time you looked at it, oh, it's not an April Fool's joke, it's March the 31st. But it was one minute till midnight on March the 31st. So they, you know... Aha! Gotcha! Hmm, I don't know. I'm still skeptical. It just seems like a poor plan. Like, it almost seems like you'd need a team of people. One person to do the talking and try and, uh, you know, distract the, the person working working the bank you know m focus your attention on me bank teller while my friend props up our un uncle here while we uh, take out this loan you know so you'd need at least three people and they just need to walk into my house and grab the latest card you wouldn't need to do anything you know overly funny I mean I don't spend my money on on anything generally until I need the next graphics card by the time the next one's out I've saved the money so you know it's surprising what you can do when you don't need to buy a car you don't need to pay for any travel and uh, you just you just eat the cheap food rather than the um, the like truffles every day and wine you know all the money you save when you don't s smoke tons of marijuana or cigarettes you can live quite cheaply and then enjoy great graphics cards nah. they already they always Give you so many ghosts in all these rooms. Yeah. Also, I'm sure it will come as as a surprise to no one that um, if you're married to someone. You can end up spending a lot of money. If you've got a a, a a partner, you can end up spending a lot of money. And quite often it'll be on things that neither of you need, but you just want to show, you know, that things are still happening by spending money, and it's money you didn't need to spend. So it's, you know... It's all relative to, to what I'm doing, my low expenditures. It's nice. It's nice having some, some spare cash to do things. Yeah, takeaway, super expensive if you get it delivered. The cinema, super expensive. A night out at the pub or the club, crazy expensive. It depends on your situation, I suppose. If there's only one of the two of you that are working, you're spending, you know, more money. If you've got someone who's permanently looking out after the house, it's different when they've got their, their own money, but, you know, that's not how everyone's setup is, for sure. One income household.
Uh, but yes, it seems like you're here. So, Diablo 4. What was the one activity I was stuck doing constantly because you had to? Nightmare Dungeons. Well, that's not how Path of Exile works. You see, rather than being stuck in the Nightmare Dungeons, or doing the Helltide or the Legion, which were two kind of things that I got done with, in Path of Exile, you could put skill points in this tree that changes. Yeah, it was a Diablo 4 thing. That was like the only, like every time you logged in, what you doing? Nightmare Dungeon. Oh, okay. Next day, what you doing? Nightmare Dungeon. Oh, okay. It was the only activity. There were, like, the, like the Helltide was saying that you could be down and over with, and the Legion was saying you could be down and over with. But you had to do the Nightmare Dungeons. So Path of Exile, you uh, you get this 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 entire extra talent tree that's not about your character, but about the activities in the game. And every now and again they have a new league that has a new thing. And then later on they'll bring that activity back as per permanently part of the game. But during the league, that new event that they're testing out will be quite heavily spammed. Like, they'll have a much extra chance to have that activity proc up. Uh, and then this extra this extra talent tree that I'm talking about that applies to your activities rather than your character, you can turn off or change the chances for some of these old activities to show up. So there's one where you've, you know, you've heard of or played tower defense games, I am sure. There's tower defense inside Path of Exile. And you can make it so that you turn off all other events, so whenever an event an event pops up, it's tower defense. So you could change it to be like Diablo 4, where there's only one activity. But there's also another one where you have to do an escort quest of this minecart in the dark, and you have to try and loot the, the you know, the the stuff as you're going and the minecart is your only source of light in the dark and if you get caught in the dark you die there's bad things in the dark and the darkness kills you and it's called delve it's lots of fun but then there's a whole structure about making your candle stronger and the minecart move faster and to get more loot out of when you finish the end objectives because it all leads to these interesting nodes on a map they give you all sorts of different things when you get to the different nodes and it has little dungeons down there. But then of course you could turn that off as well. And there's another one about, there's this guy that builds these mega zombies out of the, the parts of monsters. And depending on which parts you put in and they've all got their own item loot rarity, you can build this super zombie boss at the end that you have to fight. But it's super rewarding and he's super tanky and tough because of what different parts you put on him. You might decide you don't like that game mode and you don't want to do that, so you could turn that off. And there's another event called the Legion, where a billion monsters spawn on the screen as statues. And the statues are two or three different warring facti factions that are trapped in time and in this crystal. And you have to destroy as many of the statues as you can during this time limit at the start. And then for each enemy you destroyed out of these statues, they then become an actual enemy. So you've got a time limit to show how much AoE clear you can do before the real event begins. And then all these monsters have all sorts of modifiers and drop chances and bosses in there and even chests and things that you spawn out of all the destroyed enemies. So it's a real test of clear speed and such. But you might not like that event, so you turn that event off. And then there's this series of heists where you get a crew together and it's like a heist movie. And you have all these plans for which rooms and the vault you're going to destroy and your guys will have different skills and equipment that give you a heck of a lot of stuff and dialogue and you have to get out of there and you end up setting off the alarms when you loot a certain amount of equipment <laughs> and so on and so on 
Um, yeah, you can looking for Groove in Path of Exile, but also it's it's very fun to play solo. Uh, but you might not like the heist, so you turn that off. And I could I could go on and on. I think they've had something in the region of like 40, 50, 60, 100, or a million leagues. <laughs> There's just all these game modes that they just bring back after they've tested it for three months. And then they have a new league that goes on for three months. And then there's the next league. And then they just... They have people working on what did work and what didn't work about each league in the background. And then eventually it makes it into the game proper. So that's there in, in addition to everything else they've had so far. And it's not just Nightmare Dungeons now go. And it's brilliant. And it's so weird that you can have the same sort of gameplay as Diablo 4. You have a million different game modes within the game. And you have a million different skills. Like the the druid, if you're going to be a bear druid, there's like four bear skills. And they are the only bear skills. And then you're done. You know, if you don't take those skills, you can't be the bear druid. So it's pick this, or you haven't picked that guy. And it, it's just kind of crazy. Path of Exile isn't really like that. You could be 154 different lightning guys. Oh no, there was still one more ghost. So I basically ended up dying in the same area to the same pack, because you can't go... You can't go more in the room because you'd lure in like 62 other ghosts, but you can't fight out of the room because three's too many. Damn. I think I might try the in the room lure more ghosts, but then run around out and then try and run back in. I don't know. This is really tough. Uh, yeah, the, the, t the talent tree, it's perfect. It's big. It's evil. It's very hard to do the way that I play, where I make my own, and I'm not a mathematician, and a statistician, and a astrologer. But the thing is, there's people online who are. And you can just follow a guide, and play Path of Exile, and have the greatest fun in the universe. You still play the character, you still find the gear. But someone else did the maths. And it totally works. And then you can go on to like a billion more things about this better about Path of Exile. The crafting is just genius. But also too too hard for mortal men. Uh, a lot of people just trade the currency to other people that do the crafting. Yeah, the, the thing is, Path of Exile has its leagues, its seasons. But it also has a permanent mode where everything you've ever got from any season ever sits in the standard mode for you to play anytime. So you don't need to be on that three month cycle or whatever it is where your character gets destroyed and then you have to start again. You can just play standard mode and just have your forever character just sitting there doing whatever. The interesting thing is that if they need to nerf something in the game, they, they generally don't go back and nerf your old version of any item that's super overpowered that they, they changed back. It will sit there on standard mode exactly how it was before the patch hit and changed it. And that's your item in your inventory. And they're called legacy items. And I'm sure there's certain people out there that pay like billions of the currency for legacy versions of certain things that just worked completely different before they changed it. But the old version still exists, which is so unlike a lot of games. Yeah, Path of Backside does a really good job because um, they had the standard formula for action role-playing games where there's like four chapters and then at the end of it a new game pluses you kind of onto chapter chapter one again and you have to do all four and then you go back 
But then Path of Exile decided, well, that's, that's, you know, we're kind of sick of that. We want the story to go further. So instead of doing four chapters three times, there's now like ten chapters that are all different. And you never sort of roll back to the start again, which is great. Enjoy your meetings within meetings. We put meetings in your meetings. And uh, um, I guess I'll just keep ghost busting. Oh, I hate how that ghost died, but I was... The game did not allow me to roll through that ghost, even though he died. That was kind of dumb of the game. The ghost, the ghost was gone. I did the last hit on him. I should have been free to roll through him if I wanted to. I hate this stupid bit. I'm pretty sure you can't block the ghosts. I'll, I'll, I'll try it with my shield, but I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that the ghosts are just like, nope, we go straight through. What if the, um, what if the Arcturus shield can block ghosts? That'd be funny. Like how the sword can go through ghosts. If this, if this works, this is a game changer. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try the jump. I'm pretty sure there's like a, a jump here. Oh, I ran out of stamina at exactly the wrong second. I ran out of stamina, my character started to walk instead of run, and then you just trippity-dippity'd into the drink. It's just, I can't believe. The game chose that moment to say, yep, no stam guy. Otherwise, possibly a solid tactic. 
We'll have to see. But maybe. Oh no. Well, it was all over when that other stupid one stabbed me in the back. Alright. Alright. Okay. Let's try not to run out of stamina at a really ridiculous time. This side of the planet. We just need to outrun these 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 gits. Okay, bend the herd. Good. Now we need to slowly and carefully clear our way back in a way that doesn't doesn't ruin our existence. Um Jeez, fellas, that you're not making this easy. Oh, what the hell? I don't really like the design of this part of the game.
it's it's kind of dumb, right? Because they can just, you know, cheat <laughs> by sitting off in the middle of absolutely nowhere and just taking swings, taking shots. I think one thing that will fix it is um, having 20 flasks. You know, so I can just burn them if I need them. Wow, that one's just sitting in the floor. Wow. That was cheap. He just sat there in the floor and, and you know, let his mates do it. Jeez. Really? Did I did I not change that back? Um Oh god. Ghost trying to stab me while I'm trying to fix it.
No, no, you're absolutely correct to mention it. Hopefully uh, the, the stream's still working while I correct things. This is why I wish I had a big team of moderators all telling me what's going wrong. Um, should now be correct. So, uh, yep, thank you for that. Like, Maze came in and he said, Oh, wow, I missed you playing Path of Exiles last night. But he didn't say your current category is is Path of Exiles. So, yeah, I, I kind of wish he had said that. Maybe he didn't notice either. But, uh, yeah. You are the... I think you, you, you're either the third or you're the fourth person on the stream today, but the first person to tell me, oh, hey, you're in the wrong category. <laughs> so... Oof. I think we got all of them. Um, so yeah, uh, reorganize my thoughts. You are the. Oh, you were, you were, you were third. You were third on the stream. Yeah. There we go. Just wanted to make sure I was correct. I don't know why it meant so much to me, but yeah. I guess if I'm gonna stream two games, I'm gonna need to just get in get into the habit of knowing that, all oh, right, last night I was streaming this, today, first thing in the morning I need to make sure I'm changing my category back to that. Yeah, it was good fun. Got through all of Act 1 in the, uh, in the first stream. I couldn't be more happy. I thought they would have pulled the first ghost, but I, I guess not. Wow. I really hate how the ghosts waste your time in this. They didn't pull at all, and then they overpulled, and there wasn't really any difference between the last thing and the first thing. Now these three are the problem, for sure, because I have died to the three of these at least twice, and I wish they would just come up here and die. Maybe I can pull like a different one in here and make... Nope. Where the hell 
did I take that much damage from? I don't think the one on the right had even arrived yet. And I took damage from like four attacks simultaneously. I hate it. Damn. Because that first attack missed for no reason, that didn't work, but I have rushed through that doorway just by killing that guy and running through. So weird that it didn't work that time. Like, it looked like the sword was entirely in range. And then the game just cheated me. Again. We'll get it though, I'm sure of it. Oh no! What? I got stuck on a dead enemy again. Why does it, why do defeated enemies have a collision sometimes that persists for just extra duration for no reason? 
It's so lame. Enemies should be immediately walked through a bull. Once they're dead. They're dead, they're gone. Get them out of the way. Make make way for the living. Two dumb, stupid ghosts out my way. Next. I kind of want. I kind of want that one that kind of like half sinks up through the floor. Where are you, stupid? Oh, don't go back. Come on. Yeah, this guy. Ah, I'll get you next time. Gadget. Oh, what a cheat. What a filthy, cheating cheat ghost. Absolutely inexcusable. Gotcha, sucker. Cost me a load of life, but I got you. And you, and you. Get out of here, ghosts. Go home, ghosts. This is my church. Hopefully. We will see. Ah. 
I mean, I've got 16 health potions. There's probably about 24 more ghosts in here. M maybe. It might be possible. We could... We could do this, potentially. I kind of want to spook the Banshee one last. Literally, literally last. Damn. Like, if I'm going to kill the Banshee one, I have to rush it while it's screaming and just, you know, do achieving nothing. the next 20. Right, I'm not convinced that the ladder's safe. Yeah, I think I've been jabbed on that ladder before. That's why I was all like, eh, maybe not take the whole ladder. Except for ghosts. I wonder why. Do you have some business here? My name is Ingward. I'm an old man, bound to these parts. But I don't mind a chat. I may even be of some help. Uh-oh. He's not talking about the thing, and he's not giving me the key, and I'm a little bit worried. I'll learn resist, yes. I am the guardian of the seals. I watch over the four kings, the masters of the dark wraiths. The dark wraiths are the enemies of man, and any living thing that has a soul. They were born in New Londo, and that is where they perished. The entire city was sacrificed to contain them, for that is how great a threat they were. All right. Oh, excuse me. I am the guy. I want the dark. They were for that. 